what I'm now going to do is just take some temperature readings and this is using a thermocouple and we're going to take a temperature reading on there you can see it's ten and a half degrees at the top of the house notice that that's actually inside the porch so it's not an external wall and if we go down here at the bottom of that same wall it is colder now we're looking at about 10 degrees at the base of the wall if we then move across to the far corner and we put the probe on looking at a temperature of 10 degrees at the top and down here at the bottom I think you can see quite clearly it's plummeting on this cold corner that's going down to 9.4 9.3 so much much colder on this corner because it's a cold exposed corner through to the other side of the front of the house and again just inside the hallway down the bottom that's actually inside the porch it's 9.9 .9 at the bottom and if we come around into this corner we have a look this is a very cold exposed outside corner mind where you'd expect to damp, see damp problems. I don't know if you can actually see that, but it's that's actually a, a temperature of nine degrees, 8.9. And if we come down to the bottom corner, you can see that there dropping quite a bit. 8.3 on the thermocouple. So very very cold external corner and I think you can see this is the sort of problem you've got flaking paint wet plaster very cold wall not very nice indeed it's quite cold here there again 8.7 8.6 and you can see it's quite windy outside you see the Everything's blowing. So this is a very good illustration of the fact that you get cold, exposed corners, cold masonry. Here you can see we've got condensation that's been forming in the windowsill because the windowsill's cold right in this reveal and it's actually rotting the corner bead that the, uh, the plasterers have used. And again you've got entirely the wrong thing here you've got gypsum plaster with plastic paint over it which is trapping moisture inside and what I'll do is I'll just go outside and I'll show you what this is like outside so this is this cold outside corner this is where it's particularly wet on that corner and what we've done we've actually taken off the uh, the plastic paint we've exposed this is Victorian lime wash underneath and this if you can see is the actual mortar and if I run my finger along that I think you can see I can I can pull that mortar off and it is, I think you can see there, it's physically wet. That's lime mortar that is physically wet. And it is so wet that the brickwork, the wall, the house, that is, is actually wet. You can see it on my fingers, it's water. And that is just because the modern paint 
on the outside has trapped that moisture into the brickwork. Um, at this point the brickwork is now able to breathe, it's able to dry out and hopefully it will dry out. But the problem is that it's because that water is there, the wall is actually very cold and that is transmitting heat from inside the house and cooling this corner down. So you turn the heating on in this house, it's doing nothing because as soon as the heat hits the, the wall it's just getting whipped straight through the wall. The house is actually quite cold and that is the reason. Again, no such thing as rising damp. Every damp issue in an old house like this has a reason and it can be cured very simply by doing the right thing. And notice again down here all sorts of vegetation um, trapping moisture against the base of the walls and these garden beds are higher than the floor level inside so we're getting a degree of penetrating damp as well.